Hey guys, this is SnackTag8, and welcome back to more Getting Lost 8, Final Fantasy 8. This is part 12. This is the Queen of Cards. I travel all over the world to monitor and enforce various card rules. I know about this pretty much. I guess we have to find out what is this region's rules. Open. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, that's kind of cool. No. But it seems like, so it seems like we can change the uh, rules in Valom to other ones. That may be something we might eventually want to do. I don't know if same will have us more benefit than open. Um, we're going to buy some stuff. This looks like a shop. Hopefully it's a more traditional kind of shop. It is. Um, wow, it's a good thing we we got through the mission and stuff okay, not even knowing about any of this. Let's get some Phoenix Downs. So we got 10,000 gold or gill or whatever. Let's buy four Phoenix Downs. Um, there's a bunch of status ailment stuff here. Ammo? What the hell? Fuel for a rental car? We don't need that right now. Let's get some... Well, we could either get a remedy, which is 1,000, or we could get some of these these status item things that are a little bit cheaper. Let's get some of those, some of these. Um, what kind of this silence is always a good thing to have a cure for? I don't think there's too much of the rest of this stuff that we'll be needing right now off the bat, I can't imagine, but it's always good to have some of that. We get a couple poches. Let's get... Um, five and get some tents and we got we got a little money left okay this is for guardian forces but i think it seems like guardian forces hp also just will regen on its own so that doesn't seem that necessary i think we're good we might want to rest at the inn one more time let's do that and then we'll check out the balam station all right, so okay, I feel better now. We got some items. We got some. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> we're making our way after last episode's just befuddled trek. We rented a car for no reason. Think of how much more cool stuff we would have been able to buy if we hadn't rented that damn car. Ugh. <laughs> All right, but I feel pretty good. I don't know. I don't understand what the um the deal with this thing on the on the desk in here was. I know we looked at that last episode. Doesn't seem like it's there anymore. I don't know if we took it or... Is that's not in our key items or anything, is it? Items. Let's just, um, let's just sort. Do a quick sort. That'll probably help. Let's check it out. There's really not... No, just weapons Mon Mar, our good old best friend that. God, there's a lot of items you can have in this game. All right, now we're, we're much more stocked up, so we could... Oh, cool, we got more money back. We could always turn some of that stuff into um, spells. I think Tent makes Kiraga, which is pretty good. Maybe we'll buy a couple more of those, and we'll, we'll put those into whatever Squall has. What's he got? Oh, that's not how you do it. He's got Kiraga in his Vitality, which is Defense, I believe. Let's, um... Let's actually do that really quick. Turn our tent, one of our tents into 10 more Kiragas. How's he looking now? Yeah, Vitality looks pretty high. All right, we'll buy another tent though, just cause. <laughs> I guess we could do, I mean, honestly, now that, now that I know there's a shop here, we could probably do that with all kinds of stuff. But I'll keep it little, I'll keep it a little lower key for right now. I don't want to wait, don't want to blow through all my money either in case we need it for something. Yeah, the train to timber. Oh man, we got, we need money for this. Okay. Well, I, I spoke right away, I guess. 3,000. I guess that's good then that we get a payout of 3,000 if that's what... This kind of stuff costs. We're, we're basically back to where we were before, minus one tent. All right, taking the train, boys. Taking the train to Timber. Is this the train from uh, the, the little intro? The prologue cutscene thing with all those pictures? We're probably going to get an FMV for this. Oh, I guess we're not. Down we go through the tunnel underwater. 
This reminds me of uh, where I used to live, Virginia Beach. There's a... You'd need to take a tunnel to get out of there, man. <laughs> Something like an, like an peninsula or an isthmus or something. or I don't know the exact terminology, but to go most places from there, you need to take a tunnel somewhere across a bay. Not with trains, though. You would just uh, drive your car through. Maybe that's why I thought we needed to drive our car. But it makes sense. There were railroad tracks. Of course we had to take a train. Transcontinental Railroad, baby! It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to timber. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It sure is. <laughs> it's not interested. Look at Squall just brooding in the doorway. By the way, Squall, you have to use the ticket to get inside. What? Okay. Access granted. Yeah, let's let's explore the train. All right, <laughs> that that was a very just all right little uh, move squall made there. Just eh, okay. <laughs> After you, do some saving first too. I actually just saved, but we'll do it again. Why not? Right? We gotta. Hopefully there's not like some sort of mystery murder that will take place on this train to Timber. Or that we get attacked or something. Secede's private cabin. Oh man, do we have a whole train car? Whoa! Oh yeah! <laughs> What's cr what is going on in here? Selfie, what do you see? I love trains. Okay. Just a girl who's into some trains. You, you respect that? You like that? This is so cool. It is pretty cool. We're accommodated, man. I'm glad you're so excited. Look at how big his pants are. They even have magazines here. Pet pals. What is the deal with these magazines, man? They've got to be going towards something. It's pretty damn amazing. It pays to be a member of Seed. Yeah, um, not too much. Okay, what's the deal with Timber? It used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. That would make sense. 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Galbadia is just getting their hands in everything. They must all be on that that one continent over there where Dalit is. That must be like the Galbadian continent. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia, so now it's under their occupation. He said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And that's that's what's going on. There's, there's not a punchline to that. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all, Zell. <laughs> Zell just oblivious. I'm not feeling well. Oh, is it the train rocking around that's got her feeling sick? That's like Yuffie. Selfie's basically the Yuffie of this game. You should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. Oh, man. What, is something wrong? What the... Oh no, are we getting gassed? What's going on? Ugh. What is this? Oh no. <laughs> is it poppies? <laughs> what do we need to do, cry? How did they defeat the poppies in the Wizard of Oz? Remember that, that plot point? <laughs> They did something, Glinda the Good Witch saved them, or I don't know. Uh, whoa, what is this? Laguna, are you sure this is the right way? What the hell is happening here? Ward, Laguna, Kairos? What the hell? Is this, do these guys just get our same junctions from before? What? What am I seeing? <laughs> is this like a cutaway? Or is this something that... that are these guys who, who sleep poisoned us? Where am I? A dream? Oh man, is Squall dreaming this? Let's see, who's got... Uh, Ward, I think, has the selfie stuff. Let's stock to Ward. What is this? this <laughs> what is this place? Is this Timber? Are we dreaming, like, what happened in Timber's past? Oh my god, we got a different battle theme here, too. 
Oh, whoa, it sounds cool. Oh, here's this thing that... Whoa, what is happening? Here's this thing that, um... Oh, cool, like a spear? This We have cards of these guys. I guess we should draw from them, huh? Fungwar? What is this? Who is this over here on the side? Kairos? Got like knives or something? Well, I was not expecting this to happen. I think this song might be in, in Feeder Rhythm Final Fantasy 2. It sounds very cool. It's like the special battle theme of this game. Alright, you don't. Did any of these guys have a gun blade, do we think? Doesn't look like it. So it's like a regular gun. Maybe that's what the ammo was for in the town, but how was I supposed to know that? These guys seem a little tougher than uh, our other guys we were fighting, too. What is going on? <laughs> like, for real? Right, that's it for that guy. Let's take him out. Is it is Ward the one who is Ward the one with the with the stuff in magic? I don't know if if for whoever these characters are, if those were the Oh cool! Oh screws! Now we can remodel the gun blade. Nice. I don't know if what the stats are like for these guys that we have. But yeah, I guess we'll keep it like this. <laughs> what is, what is this? <laughs> Let me take a closer look at what they look like. Status: Ward, Laguna, and Kairos or Kiros. I guess we just gotta play, right? We gotta play through. I think that I think this is Squall talking in the uh, the more opaque text or the more um, transparent, I guess, text. Aren't we here to fight a war, you know, against the almighty Timber Army? These guys must be Galbadians, then. Why are we wasting our time messing with these animals? It's just that, uh... Don't tell me we're lost again. We're going home. Delling City, here we come. Are these Galbadians, or did, uh... Galbadia maybe hire seed? Oh, water? Okay. Ward can draw water, I guess. That's something we haven't seen before. I'd like more of that. We're getting in the the, the the combat vehicle here. Getting in the warthog. Okay. Oh man, this is like a real thing. You can't park in the middle of the street. Chill man, it's cool. All right, how about a drink? Like you drink. We already know you're not in it for the drinking. Just admit it already, okay? Drink some juice like a weenie and gawk at the piano lady. Oh, snap. Don't call her the piano lady. Forget it, I'm not going. Listen to this music. It's so shady sounding. Whoa. What is? The, what did they call this place? Is it in my, yeah, Delling. Okay. The, wow, what what is happening? <laughs> Let's call this episode What is Happening? I don't know, man. It's crazy talk. This is a cool looking city. It's kind of got the dark skies out. So I guess we're seeing soldiers from in the past. Somehow Squall is having a flashback of this. Is this gonna be like another Cloud situation? Is Squall secretly Laguna? You never know. It was pretty popular, Final Fantasy VII. You can't uh, deny that game. All right, what's in here? Okay, I guess we'll go up. All right. But I'm, I think the stuff that we'll get in this part of the game must carry over to our Squall mission, right? Because, um... What's this? Because it seemed like the junction, all our magic injunctions and stuff carried over, too. 
so there's got to be, you know, anything we get in this part of the game, it'll, it's will it got to carry over. That's why I'm excited about those screws. I wish we could go back to Balam right away, because I want to see what happens when we upgrade the weapons. Listen to this music! Let's go down, I guess. Is this the way we were supposed to go? I don't think I saw any other way for us to, to go through here. I'm going to take the sewers into the piano bar. And here we got a save point, I guess. I guess we'll make use of this. Alright. Save over this one, I guess. Is it gonna show our, our new guys? Yeah, it is. Huh. This cool little sewer area. This is so weird! I'm just like at a loss for words, really, with what's happening here. All right, this, okay, there's a little way through. Can I go anywhere from here? Can I like jump over or something? And we got battles here too. Man, listen to this theme though. I might like to get in some more battles just to figure out what's going on with this song. I think these bats, were these the same bats that we fought before? These shadow beast things definitely are new. Let's see if they have creeps, huh? Oh, they got something new to draw. Well, I guess we'll do that. I guess we'll just see what it is. For lives, okay. Well, we definitely want that, right? Let's all draw lives. I'll just make it faster. I know um, Kairos is not going to be using magic, because he's got Zell's uh, set up, but, um, but it'll just draw, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get by faster by just drawing with everybody. Let's draw some more lives. I think, um, someone mentioned that one of the things that, uh, do these have, no, these don't have anything new. Alright, you'll attack one of those. Someone mentioned that one of the things that has to do with how successfully you draw is your magic stat. So let's actually just keep drawing with these guys. These are scary enemies. These, these might be the first uh, enemies to get me a little shook yet in this game. He, he can take out the bats on his own, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, a little, uh, getting a little skeeved out by these. I also don't like how... What else do they have? Thunder. I don't like how much damage my uh, guy Kairos over here is taking, so let's cure him up. I guess Laguna could do the curing. I think I actually wanted Ward too, but I'm, I'm still just a little confused with, with what's happening. This is all going by very quickly. <laughs> Heartbreak? What is that, like a special move? Oh, that was that thing. All right, these things seem a little tougher than uh, what we've seen already. But we were also drawing for a very long time there. So they pro they just kind of had a chance to rack up some damage. The physical attacks on them don't seem very powerful, but they've got magic and stuff. Let's take him out. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. It looks like he's done for. Long death animation there too. That, that spear throw, that like javelin, that is actually really cool. Can I get a character like that in uh, in the real, in, in the other part of the game? Do these guys have new limits too? We should try to get them into low health range so we can see that. I should have kept Kairos in that, that range. All right, well there was that. We got some life, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Vampire Fang. All right. Damn. All right, where am I going? This is, what is, this is madness. This is madness, you know, guys. I'm not crazy, right? This is insanity. <laughs> I guess it's not that crazy. I mean, you jump around with characters all the time in Final Fantasy. I just didn't expect it to happen right when we were on the way to our mission to see some totally unrelated guys. There must be some other way to go, right? Maybe there were other doorways I could have gone through here. 
that one little bit, that diddle doodle diddle doodle do part from that, um, from this song sounds like, um, one of the bits from the, the Kuja battle theme, the Dark Messenger. It sounds like that a little bit. We're just shady shuffling around, huh? There's not like, there's no other way to go? Is this a dude standing over here? Maybe he'll give some info. Sir, all right, I guess not. Are we important? Seems like the enemies only are spawning in the sewer. Did this guy say something? We can't go any other way over there. Is there a way to go over here? Yeah, there is, okay. So we were probably not meant to go to the sewer yet then. That must be something for later. Oh man, yeah, here we are. We definitely are in Galbadio, okay. It's the, the Grand Galbadio Hotel. This must be where the piano lady's at. Got the hots for the pianist in the hotel bar. Yeah, I think I kinda do. To see who that is. Hey Laguna, you back to see her again? I guess so. In we go, let's check this lady out. Maybe we can get some cool uh, FMV of the piano lady or something. Please step up to the counter, okay? To pay, yeah, okay, a hundred gil, that's nothing. I don't even need to make a reservation. We're still just wearing our armor. All right, there's no magazines on these tables, right? I should be more thorough with checking that. Seems like there's some kind of magazine system in this game, so. All right, I guess we'll head down here, huh? Is this where it takes place? There's the there's the piano, usual tables ready. Yeah, walk around a little bit first. Let's talk to these guys. This is Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> As of today, I'm assigned to the engineer corps. Yeah, it could be, because they were, weren't they fixing the tower? I'd like to propose a toast to myself. Listen up, soldier. I'm Julia's private bodyguard. Oh, maybe they're not Biggs and Wedge. All right. All right, let's have a seat then, I guess. I'm here. Is this a dream? Laguna's pretty cute. What is this? A, is Laguna a girl? I thought Laguna was a guy, just with some long hair. At ease, man. That's cool. We're going all out tonight, right, boys? Okay. And here's the piano lady. Julia should be making her appearance soon. You'll love a good, uh, seductive Julia. If Cowboy Bebop has taught me anything, it's that ladies named Julia are, are fast and hard hitting news. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. So wait, Laguna's into Julia? I thought, I, thought they were, I thought they were just saying Laguna was a chick. <laughs> Go wave to her. Unless they're just into each other, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if RPGs would, have, would be that forward thinking in the late 90s. I guess we'll have to find out. Maybe I'm just not, I'm even reading into it wrong. But we know you'll do it. Whoa, wait a minute. Is she playing Aerith's theme? Or the Final, F no, this is, this is the Final Fantasy VII main theme. Isn't it? Hold on. That part back there sounded so much like the Final Fantasy VII theme. We gotta listen to this more. All right, start over. Play another one. Was it? I'm gonna have to listen to that back. It sounded so much like the Final Fantasy VII map theme, like the main theme of the game. 
for a little bit it did also did i just say Aerith's theme Ugh. <laughs> kill me please Aerith. to be this close to julia is this guy serious oh it is a guy i guess who said laguna was cute then my legs cramping up arg oh no really this is happening right now is he just pretending What is happening here? Sad. This is Squall's voice, right? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm misreading it. Maybe all three of our guys, Zell, Squall, and Selfie, are, are uh, sharing a dream about this. <laughs> well, it didn't work. We couldn't talk to her. I can't bother Julia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mission success. <laughs> okay. Got up there, leg cramped, and then he just awkwardly wandered around. Didn't think he'd actually do it. Our popularity rating's gone up a point. You cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a th minus three on the manliness scale. <laughs> Julia sure is pretty. <laughs> what? Where did our music go? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. Is she coming over? Yeah, I knew it. May I? Ah! <laughs> These couldn't be Squall's, like, parents or something, right? Did I interrupt anything? Is that maybe why we're seeing this? They're both dark haired with, I don't know, it could be. N not at all. Please sit down. Because this is definitely taking place in the past, right? They mentioned that um, Timber fell to Galbadia and these guys were Galbadians fighting in Timber. So it's gotta be something. It's gotta be something that has to do with Squall, you'd have to think, right? Oh man, it's really her. What do I do? Help, guys. She's pretty. What's this guy thinking? Maybe the grayed out text is Squall. She is pretty. She's pretty cute. You okay now? G kind of. How's your leg? Oh, it's nothing. Happens all the time. <laughs> you can relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. Oh, snap. In your room? <laughs> da. It's pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. <laughs> Everybody's just watching. I, if you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. Oh, I totally do. You know, of course I do. I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk. Oh, snap. Are we about to bang in a Final Fantasy game? Am I dreaming? <laughs> this is a dream. No, it can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me? <laughs> this is kind of funny. Just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. <laughs> uh, no, I'm all ears for Julia tonight. Yeah, you always gotta listen more than talking. Time to use my manly charm and help her with her problem. Problem, eh? I bet. What, has she got some pipes that need to be uh, cleaned out? <laughs> Can you really carry on a conversation with Julia? Make sure you're sophisticated. <laughs> These guys are kind of funny. All you do is yap, 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 and never listen. Julia chose you, oh no! <laughs> okay, pretty bold for just a grunt. Julia this, Julia that. Send you off to war a million miles away. Okay, is he our squad leader or something? All right. Well, this was a weird turn of events. So I guess now we're we're seeing the some through the eyes of someone named Laguna, who is a Galbadian guy, I guess. Um, 
And I guess, I, I believe Squall is observing this. So it's pretty strange, but I'm interested to see what effect this will have playing into our main story and what Julia could possibly want with us up in her room. Um, and we're gonna find all that out in the next video. Till then guys, I've been Snack Attack 8. Thank you all so much for watching. See you then. Later.